Peridosis is a name that's given by Westerners to Bali, actually. And Peridosis is not the only name. They may give us name also. Island of God, Island of Invisible People, Island of Thousand Temple, Island of Thousand Bang, and so forth. It's just a name. One of the great ironies about this whole thing of Bali is the paradise, is that the paradise myth was created in the 1930s, at the time when Balinese themselves were really living in poverty. Being an island is very, very difficult. A small island, very fragile, everybody look at it, everybody would like to come. So this is a phenomenon, an island people out of 13,000 islands and from central Alliance government. So we have to live with it. Sometimes I get also tourists coming here, they, they think it's really sad, they're changing here, but for the people here, for the village people, the original people that live here, they change for the better. You have to, to remember, because we are part of Indonesia development, we want to be changed, you know? So we want to be drive BMW and watching TV, or this sort of thing, you know, globalization, whatever they call it. You can say that some people are professional Balinese. You know, they know exactly how to package themselves so that tourists will go, wow, you know, we talked and it was great and he told me all about the religion and he, you know, he said he'd take me to a temple ceremony and things, you know, and some of them are just fabulous at that. They're just great at that. Others, I think, are exhausted at having to hustle all the time. Actually, now we come to a sort of crossroad in which ideally we want to be Balinese and uh, in reality, we are expected to move toward uh, modernization. So one foot is in the traditional world and one foot is in the, the so-called modern world. Most people live on a lonely island Lost in the middle of a foggy sea the world, island of the gods, land of exotic and beautiful happenings, a rare and special garden of Eden, of astounding beauty and entrancing people, enchanting, magical, where every child is a dancer and any farmer an artist. Come and see the real Bali, where time stands still. Yeah. Prime Ministers, Presidents, Pop Stars and Poets have all done Bali. It's been touted by tourists, tour agents and guides. Anthropologists, filmmakers and writers have created a beguiling image of a paradise on earth. Over the last 60 years, hundreds of scholars and researchers have scrutinised and mythologised its society and culture, its unique blend of borrowed Hindu tradition and local animist and Buddhist influences. Today, this tiny Hindu island sits surrounded by the Islamic Indonesian archipelago. In the early 16th century, the great Majapahit Kingdom of Southeast Asia was conquered by Islamic forces. 
But Bali's Hindu traditions survived and evolved into nine fiercely competitive kingdoms of heroic warrior princes. As soon as we see tourism as something to legitimate ourselves, you know, we need our strong identity because there is something it's different than us. But in Bali nowadays, the question how to become more Baliness in the situation of tourism has a lot of sense. If Balinese want to be modern, they want to be progressive, then the only way to get the goods to have a really nice house or to, uh -huh. to have you know, the nice clothes or whatever uh, that the yeah. tourists have, yeah. the only way to do that is to be part of the image, to get caught up in the processes. <laughs> 